would like to see something in the community that would come together and train more women or men to do the navigation portion of it. You need someone that's going to be there that's been there that can understand. Our task is to try to make sure that community health workers are a vital part of the service at the academic health center and in health systems. Uh, for the community health workers, their value is understood in the communities, but not as much by the providers, so we are going to make that work. And there's so much more that needs to be done in terms of transforming the system, and then Dr. Howes has mentioned that too. You go into the hospital and the students that were trained in the medical school come back to us and complain that while they're doing their training in the hospital, the, the leadership and the, the, their trainers uh, for, for the rotations are telling them you know, you really can't do those things that, that they told you in cultural competence training. That, that those are nice in, in, in theory, but you can't really do them in practice while you're here. <laughs> you just have to do what we tell you. And so those changes that we're trying to make kind of come undone. We are at the bottom internationally of all Western countries in terms of health, in terms of the quality of our health care. We have to change. We need to be talking about these issues on a daily basis and not be afraid. And not be afraid to, to propose great um, ideas and to sit at the table with those who are in control. Unfortunately, it comes down to funding, uh, might come down to legislation, policy making, but those things don't happen without hearing the voice of, of the people in the community. Join us for Public Square on the last Thursday of each month and visit our website by going to newmexicopbs.org and clicking on local productions. Here you can give us feedback or suggest topics. Also, join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter by searching for Public Square. Thank you for watching.